Snowplow drivers have logged tens of thousands of miles across the state with these latest snowstorms, right? And every once in a while, something sometimes goes wrong. Yeah, a driver might hit something but with their plow besides snow. New specialist Alex Cabrero is live tonight outside Sandy Public Works. And Alex, one of their drivers did experience this recently. Yeah, he certainly did, Deanie. He says he didn't even know he hit something until Public Works here. They got a phone call later. However, this story isn't just about what went wrong. It's more about what went right. It's already been quite the winter for snowplow drivers. It has. It's been a heck of a start. We're burning through some salt. Helping people stay safe, though. Sandy's public works director says he's proud of the job his team does whenever it snows. They'll do 16 hour shift and they'll come back with a smile on their face. But the job they did earlier this month, well, not even a snow plow could clear that big of a smile. The people were so kind and so nice. You see, Margot Batzelt has lived in the Sandy house for more than 40 years. The mailbox out front, almost just as long. My husband made it. A drunk driver took out the first one we had when we first were moved in, so he made that one. It became priceless when her husband passed away 17 years ago. Oh yeah, everything that he's done here, there's nothing shaped like that. And it's got the little flag that you put up. So when a sandy snowplow recently knocked down her mailbox, you just can't replace it with a new one. I told my husband now, I said, if that's a different mailbox, every time I look at it, I'm going to cry. She called Sandy City, explained how special that mailbox was, and public works workers got to work. I heard that her husband had built it years ago, and, and it needed to be the same color and everything, so I just ran with it and put it back together. It took them about a week in their shop, but when workers were done, it looked just about the same as it did before. We try to take care of the residents, and it's it's absolutely our fault if something happens. <laughs> that tells them couldn't believe him when they brought it back. The fellow told me that's a brand new pipe they put on and painted it. She's hoping it lasts another 40 years. They went over and above. Now, Sandy City says they do their best to replace anything a snowplow driver might hit. And it does happen every now and then for plow drivers all across the state. But going to this effort, Mike Adini, you could tell they really wanted to get this one right. Very impressive. Yes, they did go above and beyond, yeah. Alex. Thanks. They did.